In this example, we have this literal equation here. We got a couple of variables, m and n, and we would like specifically to solve for m. So we need to get all these m terms on one side of the equation and all the other terms on the opposite side of the equation. So let's go ahead and collect the terms that include an m on the left side, and we'll get the other ones on the right side. So we can start by, well, we see this is subtracting 5m, so let's go ahead and add 5m. And when I do that, I see the 5m's on the right will cancel. And we have to be very careful here because these two terms are not like terms. This one has an m and an n, and this one just has an m. So since we can't combine them, we just need to put them side by side. And next, we can see that this plus 3 doesn't include an m. So let's go ahead and subtract 3 from both sides to get that 3 off of the left and onto the right. So we see that those will cancel. And so here's what I have. 2mn plus 5m, and that'll equal n minus 3. Okay. So we're trying to solve for m, but we notice that we have multiple terms that include an m, and they're not like terms. So what we need to do is factor this m out. Basically, it's going to be using backwards distributive property, and then we'll see what we have. So if I take that m out, it'll look like the distributive property, but of course we won't distribute. And so I divide it out of here and out of here, so I'm left with 2n plus 5. So here's the idea. We're trying to get this m all by itself, so we divided it out of both of these terms. So what I have now is a nice product, m times this expression 2n plus 5. So why might I do that? Well, because when we are multiplying two things together and we want to get one of them by itself, we need to do division. So let's divide both sides of the equation by that 2n plus 5. So when I do that on the left side, the 2n plus 5 will cancel. And I will just have that m all by itself. And again, that's the goal. And on the right side, I can't simplify this any, so I'm just going to rewrite this division here. So we have the n minus 3 divided by 2n plus 5. I have effectively isolated the m variable. So I have solved for m, and I did so from this original uh, literal equation that contained multiple variables. So here is that solution once again.